Hi, I'm Kent. So I've been making pots for a while now and I'm slowly getting a little bit better. One of the things I haven't been doing is actually putting a mark on them. In this video, I want to go ahead and make my own maker's mark. I'm going to design it on my computer and then use my 3D printer to print it out. I will then have the mark to mark the bottom of my pots. So the first step will be to hop onto my computer and design the mark itself. So I started my design here in Inkscape. I found a font that I liked, um, this one here in particular. It is League Spartan. The next step was then to figure out what I actually wanted my maker's mark to be. I figured just a word mark would be good. So I decided on Dr. K. I think that represents me pretty well. After adding the Dr. K, I decided that it would actually be good to have the year as well. So I know when I made my pots. So I played around with adding a second line here, this 2022. I made the font a little bit smaller, increased the font weight so that it matched the Dr. K a little bit more. So I saved this, and the next step is to bring it into Fusion 360. So here is my first iteration that I tried out. You can see the Dr. K, this one didn't have the year. The idea is that we want the letters to be projected up so that we can push them into the clay, and then the bottom here is basically just a handle. So let's do this again with my new version that has the year in it. So we can import an SVG, which is what I saved in its Inkscape. And I want to make this about a centimeter big. So each one of these is a millimeter. So I want to scale this up. To be maybe just over a centimeter across. So I do that and I finish the sketch. So next what we want to do is extrude this up. So I'm going to select the faces and hit E to extrude. And I want to go up about 2.5 millimeters, I think. So we can see it projecting up there. So that looks good. And then next I need the handle. So I'm going to go ahead and create a box on the bottom surface. And I'm just going to eyeball this for placement. It doesn't need to be exact since it really is just a handle. That looks good. And I think we want to go down a centimeter. So that's what it looks like. Maybe we'll go down a centimeter and a half to have a little more to hold on to. All right, so there it is. This top part here is what will be pressed into the clay, and the bottom part is just uh, to hold on to. So you notice that I can actually read this looking from the top. It goes from left to right. When we put it into the clay itself, it'll be mirrored. I could mirror it here in Fusion 360, or the easier thing I found to do was actually just to mirror it in my slicer program. So let me go ahead and do that and print it out. Okay, and here it is off of the 3D printer. You can see it's backwards now. I had to make one small refinement. The 2022 didn't actually come out right. The font information didn't get imported into Fusion 360 properly. So I changed that into pass and then imported it again and reprinted it. For comparison, this was my first test. So this is just Dr. K without the actual 2022 and it's much shorter, so it's harder to hold on to. So I don't have any pots that are at the right stage to stamp right now, but I do have this piece that I can go ahead and test it out on. So the idea is basically to take it and press it in. Well, that wasn't hard enough. Oh, there we go. Dr. K, 2022. 2022 is a little bit faint, but... And that was not quite as deep. I think the trick is definitely to push it all the way down. There we go, it's a little bit better. Don't think I was getting the bottom part all the way in. Oh 
but yeah, much better. Cool, so a little bit of practice and that works. So there's an example of taking the 3D printer and going from an idea into a physical object that then can be used to stamp and that will be my maker's mark. Hope you found that interesting. If you have any questions about my process or any comments or suggestions, I'd be happy to hear about them. Thanks.